uh, how do they manage to get to, 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 how come they just don't understand the public to this extraordinary extent? Don't they understand that to the public don't like vaccine passports, that they don't like quarantine? Why are they putting that in a festive commercial and actually self-harming rather than promoting their shop? I, I suspect, look, I, I'm not making any excuses or defending them at all, but uh, ad men, CEOs of big corporations, they live in a bubble, don't they? And I, I reckon actually what happens is, you know, someone from the equality and diversity department at the ad agency and at Tesco and, of course, John Lewis, as we know from uh, the advert that they put out a few weeks ago, they are kind of encouraged, I suppose, to be right on and woke and they don't really think about the implications. I mean, what whatever happened to the adverts where, you know, we were looking at through a telescope at a man in the moon or we had, you know, a boots ad, which was a kind of kid running along, giving presents to, you know, teachers. And yeah, you know, here's, here's some nice, here's some nice things we've got for sale in our shop. Maybe you want to come along and buy them. <laughs> well, yeah, that, that's that's and the, the Christmas spirit and, and, you know, invoking the Christmas spirit and selling stuff at the same time, rather than now John Lewis, Tesco's and goodness knows who else over the next few weeks want to get political. Now, look. I know our politicians are pretty rubbish at the moment, and, and there's a massive gap to fill there, frankly, but we don't need Tesco's, John Lewis and others stepping in and being political. It's all got a bit Gary Lineker, hasn't it? It has. Uh, as I say, uh, my, what, what astonishes me, uh, that you've got the combination, quite right, of the advertising agency that Tesco employs, plus the Tesco executives, they get together, they come up with this advert, and none of them see the problem. I mean, these people, in my view, I don't know uh, what they're like, but uh, I would suggest they might like to go down to a proper local pub and talk to the people there, uh, where you'll find uh, that no one likes vaccine passports, no one likes quarantine, and they certainly certainly don't like the idea of Santa having to go through that health paper process. Extraordinary. And it is astonishing the, the hoops that this advert would have gone through. So you can imagine this has probably been probably a year in the making. You know, as soon as Christmas finishes, the ad agencies and the marketing departments of these big corporations get together and start planning the next one. So the amount of people in terms of executives, board members, people within the ad agency, legal and so on, that have signed this thing off without anybody saying, hang on, do we want to be polarising? Do we want to be divisive? Because surely the point, when it, when it comes to being a politician, you should be divisive, right? You should be a conviction politician and yeah. stand on your laurels. But when it comes to selling advent calendars, Christmas paper and greetings cards, surely you want to appeal to everybody where, as you've just said, the, this is not only the worst advert by way of complaints that we've uh, that, that's been on this year, but there's already a hashtag, a hashtag boycott Tesco, yes. which is massively, massively trending. And there will be people that now, you know, me included, actually, won't voluntarily go into a Tesco's at the moment because you think, well, hang on, I don't, I don't want to be shopping in a, a political environment. It's the same, it's exactly the same as the, the argument around footballers and taking the knee, isn't it? Politicians are for politics. And if I want politics, I'll watch Newsnight or I'll listen to talk radio. I'll do the things that I'm going to get politics for. If I go to Tesco's, I just want to buy stuff. If I want to watch the football, I go to a football match. I don't expect to be preached to by woke warriors. I think exactly right. I think uh, what we're talking about is sort of uh, well-to-do middle-class people, guardian reader types, uh, <laughs> who uh, couldn't imagine that anyone would have any complaints about vaccine passports or quarantine because, you know, it's COVID. You've got to wear masks. You know, and, you know, it's, it's, it's taking a side. Yeah, right? Exactly, is, exactly. And, and a lot of the complaints, a lot of the complaints have been about, you know, suggesting that Tesco have been coercive here. Now, I mean, that might be a strong word, but they're, they're certainly saying that they support the principle of COVID vaccine passports and the fact that maybe very soon, as we've seen in the last 24 hours in Northern Ireland and Wales and goodness knows where else, maybe, maybe you will need a COVID passport to get into Tesco's now. And that's going to be a real problem for Tesco's then if that means that 25 to 30 percent of the population decide that they're, they're not playing that game. Um, there, there is, I've got a slight little aside, Kev, if I've just got 10 seconds. Yeah, go um, I, I did see a little bit of a conspiracy theory about this on Twitter. Now, go because on. it's Twitter, I should put a big caution around yeah, this, yeah, shouldn't yeah, I? Yeah, we'll take it with um, a big uh, pinch of salt, but go big on. Big pinch of salt, but, but I have checked and what I'm about to say is true, but read into it what you will. Mm -hmm. One of the biggest shareholders in Tesco is a business called Vanguard, so an investment business, uh -huh. who also happened to be one of the biggest investors in 
Pfizer. Ah, well, there you go. That, that'll that get the Twitter mob going as well. <laughs> uh, but uh, some some people say, oh, well, you know, the, the Tesco have got themselves talked about. It isn't necessarily good to get themselves talked about. And this, I don't think, has done them any good whatsoever. As you say, Russell, it's extraordinary. Uh, the, the number of hoops this advert will have gone through before it got fi- approval to go out onto the telly uh, will be uh, massive. And uh, no one saw the pitfalls. Uh, just bizarre. I could have told yeah. them at, at the first st- hurdle, ditch this, no vaccine passports, no quarantine. It's a Christmas ad. No one wants that sort of nonsense. Uh, Russell, great to talk, as always. Thank you so much. Uh, 